Hey everyone, this is Jody, and I'm going to be reviewing our prep schedule, which looks like this. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to look at this schedule, which you may have seen already, which is the basis for our prep schedule. So um, just keep in mind, this isn't a Monday through Friday thing right now. We just have uh, some grade groupings at the top. TK is with middle school because it creates eight separate classes and each grade grouping therefore has eight classes. So the basis for this is keeping it simple. We want it to have a support hour for every class. We want it to have a prep um, hour initially for every class. Um, but we also realized that we needed to have it in the afternoon. Uh, the feedback was for most teachers, including prep teachers, that they wanted to have class in the morning. Uh, but since the majority of our teachers are classroom teachers, um, we decided that we would work with support and prep in the afternoons as much as possible so we can leave uh, the morning open for core. So where you see support, uh, support is referring to ELD and intervention, possibly even RSP, but RSP may have to be working with kids outside of that time as well. So the support uh, staff schedule still needs to be uh, worked on. So a draft will be created uh, today or tomorrow to, to share. Uh, with everybody for feedback on that as well. Um, but just keep in mind that the, the support details are, are still being worked on. Uh, every grade grouping has support at a different time. Um, and then we really wanted to have a prep hour for every grade grouping, uh, but to have everybody in the afternoon, um, you know, TK and middle school are kind of doubling up with other prep times, but it does um, work out in the end. So if we come on over here to the prep schedule, it is already organized by days of the week. Um, we have collab time uh, blocked off between one and two. So there'll be no support, no preps, and no um, core happening during that time. Um, looking back at this schedule, I see that we do have the second and third grade support at that time. So unless somebody else has a different idea, I think that second and third grade is just going to be missing support on Wednesdays. Just like on our regular Thursday short day in person, we do have um, afternoon kids just kind of miss out usually. So um, when it came to the prep, every class has either two or three days of synchronous prep per week. Basically TK through five has three days a week and uh, middle school has two days a week. Now this is synchronous, so um, prep teachers will still be planning asynchronous lessons. So even though, um, 12 o'clock prep is blocked off for um, sixth grade. Let me just double check that. Yep. Um, uh, for two days a week, they can still be working on asynchronous lessons the other days of the week during that 12 o'clock time. So every class gets either two or three days of prep a week. Um, we also had to keep in mind um, maximum amount of times, minimum and maximum amount of times for the prep teachers to be Zooming each day. The recommendation was a minimum of three to four um, required Zooms per day. And so we decided to stick to three to four for the most part. Um, art teacher, tech and the PE teachers do have one day a week right now where they have a total of five Zooms a day, but we try to really minimize that because it, you know three to four um, seems like a very doable number. 
Um, and so then these are the total Zooms that they have per week um, with Coach Simmons having a little bit less because he does split our, his time with Howe and he's not with us on. So <clears throat> another intention was to give every class a variety of prep. So if we look up here, um, second grade EI, class number two has tech on Monday, PE on Tuesday, and then music on Thursday. So that was the intention and that's how things started. But as uh, a big and complicated schedule like this is being worked on, uh, for those of you who've done scheduling before, will know, um, you know, you're fitting in pieces of a puzzle. And so as you start filling up the schedule more, um, sometimes the options become less and less and, and we have to make sure that everybody's getting an even amount and um, we're not overloading one particular prep teacher over the others. So not everyone did get a variety. If you look at um, fifth grade, a couple of fifth grade classes get PE twice a week and then they get tech the third day. So, you know, we are aware that not everybody does have a variety. Um, and if you can see a way to, to fix that where it's not changing up the entire schedule, um, great, let us know. I mean, Right now, we still. This is still a draft. We still need feedback. Um, we may have missed some things. Um, also, we just want you to know that the number one drive is to make things simple for families. So, um, if a particular time doesn't work for you, we want to be flexible, and individuals can trade, you know, times with another individual. So I know we have a, a kinder teacher who would really like to do their core at one because of the family situation at home. So maybe they're going to be able to ask a first grade teacher or a fifth grade teacher, hey, would you mind switching times with me? Um, because I have, you know, my own um, family schedule to deal with. So please, you know, if you can figure out a way to switch with another individual, which might mean, you know, not every kinder class is at one o'clock, that's okay. Um, as long as your prep is going to be the same time every day, we don't, we don't want switching around where, okay, then it's going to create third, this third grade EI class one is going to have PE on Monday at 1230 and then PE and then art at two o'clock on, on Wednesday and then at Friday. We just want it to be one consistent time. So we're hoping that this schedule uh, can work for most of you, um, but we're open to feedback. Uh, just keep in mind school starts in a few days and we would really like to get this out ASAP. So we're looking forward to um, getting a final out to you guys. So thank you very much for uh, listening and we look forward to hearing back very soon about your thoughts. So I'm just going to stop the recording and see you soon.